just it's too cold, it's too windy. And tomorrow night, this whole area will be gone, gone, gone. We're going to get shut down. Cold air from the Arctic hurtles south, sending the 310,000 square mile ice pack through the fishing grounds on a collision course with the Pribilof Islands. It's moving between 15 and sometimes 30 miles a day, which is going to shut down the whole northern fishing area and then surround St. Paul. 260 miles north of Dutch Harbor is St. Paul Island, home to the sole northern cannery capable of processing the $11 million of remaining product. There's a little strip of crap. I'd like to get another pick, you know. I may end up down there at the top of the yeah. dragon head with you, OK? Only if you want to work together. Yeah, it sounds like a little partnership would be exactly what we both need. Now, Captain sees every advantage to bring winter season to a close. Probably become ice station wizard one more time. Before the ice shuts them down. On the wizard. Hello, hello. Hey, good morning, Keith. John, how you doing? Good, good man, are you out? You in the area? I am just above you there. Two miles away. So let's get this done, all right? Let's uh, start setting. Get this in the water. With the ice pack threatening St. Paul Harbor, Captains Keith Colburn and Jonathan Hillstrand of the Time Bandit aim their 250 pots across the northern grounds, betting double the gear will tank their Opelio crab in half the time. I will just start like at the the 09 or 08 and set to the northeast to jump over about four miles, set back to the southwest. I'm going to set east-west. That way, no matter what, we can't screw up and I'm crossing you up. I needed 620 average to go home. 620 average one time Hang on to get go home. You know, I got 66 pops. Oh, me. We'll work our way back up to the north, northwest, like you're saying. Right, I got to go, John. I, I feel better. I have company up there. I'll meet you up in that corner. All right, OK, right on. Thanks. Raj, I need you in the wheelhouse immediately. And wait the guys on your way up. Yeah, what's up? I've got about a two degree port list. We're definitely, if you look out that window, you'll see what the stack looks like. Do you have any fuel you can move at all to starboard? Two, seven, five. Okay, wait a second, just wait, wake up, okay? I've, wait, we're got, not, we're, we're, I've got a little less than 3,000 on my port side. Okay, if you can transfer 2,000 gallons, that could potentially correct this list. Okay. But then I'm gonna also get the guys up there clean all the ice off up on the bow on the port side. Okay. I've never flipped a boat over. I don't intend to. All I know is that we're not going to let this get out of control. No. Casualties out here don't just have from one catastrophic event. It's finding the chain of events and breaking the chain. Team Green, grab a fat fish and prepare for dessert after a nice big breakfast. I don't even see a drop of blood on their face. Come on, you guys are joking about this. <laughs> I want A. I'm so superstitious that I these guys, I don't think these guys did it. With his hull hole mended, but the hole in his quota still unfilled, Captain Keith takes his good luck offering into his own hands. So it's all done. Yeah, because you guys don't know how to do it. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. 
Let's go, guys. Back to work. Yeah. Screw it. I'll do anything to get some crap in these pots. Just a few miles away, Keith's partner Jonathan looks to bring a little good luck to his Opelio Hall. Andy. <laughs> yeah. Andy's happy as hell. Look at him. That's all he's doing. Uh... By tapping on the head of his brother Andy doll. Coming up, pretty. First one's on the bow. Let's hope for crap. Ice head's coming down. We're running out of time. We're not giving up, honey. That's a really good pot. before probably two or three times. And, uh, you know, it's been a little chaotic. Yeah. Oh. 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 oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, get better. Ah, coming out, coming out, coming out. It's like now we're back. When they're here, they're here. I'll tell you that, they're here right now. This irritates the out of me. I'm done. I, I'm, I'm working on my own and I'm getting my done. We're pulling some really good numbers. Holy five oh five oh five. A lot of crap. Awesome. That's exactly what I was expecting and hoping to hear, Jonathan. What you want to do, Keith, is take a stand in all four of your strings to the southeast. The ice is pretty close. I'm I'm gonna be heading your way. Let's see it. Yeah, shoot the moon. Shoot the moon. Beep, 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 roadrunner. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep. <laughs> Coyote out. That's a Jonathan I know and love. I wish he would have called sooner. Let's hope we just get my gear in here and get it back one time before the ice chases us out of there. Come on, crab. I need crab. Crabbing it there, man. 
Crab on board too. On a one-way track to wrapping his winter season, Captain Keith banks $1.7 million, snagging each deckhand 87,000 big ones. Oh man, that's beautiful, dude. I can't thank you enough for helping me and bail me out. Okay, buddy, thanks. All right, I'm out. Beep beep. <laughs> 